Good morning. It is Wednesday the 20th of March. That is a very messy one made bed behind me. Some things will probably never change. But today is my dad's birthday. I mentioned in last week's vlog that March is the busiest month of the year for birthdays for me. All of my extended family, my boyfriend and my dad, have birthdays in the middle of March. So it's just back to back. So I feel as though I'm saying the same thing as last week. We're even going to the same restaurant. I am quite excited. He is actually off work today. So we're going for lunch. Harry is back from uni. I think Harry's actually on Easter now to be honest but he definitely will be by the time this vlog goes up and i feel you only just went back after christmas this seems a really short time it is the 20th of march it is wednesday didn't film monday and tuesday because i did not move from the sofa or my desk i was editing solidly on my taylor swift video if you haven't already seen it do go show it some love leave a little comment leave a like that was a big old project kind of just for fun to be honest because like it was very me it maybe isn't for everybody but it was very me but yeah this was this morning as you can see we did a little presents and went on a dog walk it was pouring down my brain actually. This this afternoon we are heading for like a late lunch at Mowgli. You're gonna think that I am just like the biggest Mowgli fan and maybe I am to be honest. I also got this top from Hollister at the weekend and I really like it. It's like a cropped jumper but the back, can you see it? The back is so pretty. And I actually do also do it in blue. I kind of do wish I'd got that one. I'm a little bit annoyed though because like it's got this pull in it. If anybody knows how you could fix that. I wish I'd realised when I bought it but I didn't. Let's go for some lunch at my new favourite restaurant which is Mowgli apparently. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like Indian street food. I definitely mentioned all of this last week so I'm not going to go into it again but they opened one up in Beverly. This is my third time going but my second time in a week so yeah. Maybe need to lay off the curry after this. Welcome to a weekly vlog that's actually probably only going to be three days long. What have you got? <laughs> chip butty. Great timing. That is a, a glorified chip butty. Curries are coming. Harry's got a, oh, is that a full fried chicken? Angry bird. Is that what it's called? Insert angry bird. <laughs> Wait, that's a bit sad, isn't it? Oh, because it's a dead bird. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's my bread. Yeah. Thank you so much. Did you not get rice? Yeah. That's just a big fat bear. Yeah. Yeah. Week in the life. Uh, it's gonna be one of the four photos in the thumbnail. No, but it could be. Alright, Harry. Harry's becoming my creative director, apart from only when it suits him. I was gonna say, the last clip I filmed was us eating curry, and now here we are stuffing our face with cheese and crackers. But well, that was a long while ago. it has been a good a good couple hours. Right. Well, Put this in the comments, right? If your family goes out for a meal <laughs> at say lunchtime, one PM one, 1 p.m. sort of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Would uh, would you have tea? Because we don't. <laughs> Hang on. Six hours later. Excuse me. There's four people in the house. You know where the oven is. You know where the fridge is. There's no, the fridge. I'm absolutely fine. This is a picky tea for me, but Harry needs like three big meals a day. Plenty of chicken in the fridge if you want to start faffing. Do you want to weigh in on this, Dad? Do you have dinner if you go out for a big lunch? Picky tea. The answer is picky tea. Yeah. Anyway, it's an Aldi ripoff of Colin. Yay, cook that's nice. I actually might prefer that one. Do you remember when I tested them all? Harry is like Molly Waffling. Missing the snooker. Four candles. Do you get the joke now? Do now. Candles for four. I don't get the joke. Yes, she do. The guy goes into the hardware store and goes, four candles. Yeah. He gives him four uh, candles. Four <laughs> candles. <laughs> no, I'm the right four candles. Happy birthday, dear yeah. dad. Woo! Good morning, it is Wednesday. No, it's not, it's Thursday. Why do I get the days of the week wrong every single week? But it is Thursday and it is also the afternoon. This morning I had just been working, doing some emails, organizing some little bits and bobs for our Bali group tour because space is closed for that in under a month now or around about a month. So just kind of finalizing the last bits and bobs with the group chat that we already have. There are still spaces available by the way if you do want to join us, I think. There's 18 of us already at the moment, 18 or 17, somewhere around that number. But there are spaces still available if you are interested in coming to Bali this July. Anyway, that's not why I started this vlog. I started this vlog now because this afternoon we mean business. I need to have a big tidy up because, shocker, I've let everything pile up. This is what my bed looks like. This is the desk. This is the floor. And probably worstly, this is the office. The office is the hardest to keep tidy because it's got all of my filming stuff in here. And it's also just a small room. So like, it's not tidy like ever. <laughs> but it's not just a tidy up I want to do because I actually, I want to continue listing some things on Vinted. I'm doing this in stages because I do find that I can't keep up with it sometimes. Like it's a lot to, like say if I list like 60 items at once, I then I have to go post 
post 60 items at the in post locker that's just carnage because standing there whilst you're trying to post like 30 things it just takes ages so i'd rather do it in burst it makes posting everything out easier also it makes clearing everything out easier so today i think there's going to be quite a lot of home wary bit because when i tidied my bedroom the other week and like redid my room a little bit i also obviously cleared some storage and cleared some homeware items that were in my bedroom so i think it's going to be some bits like that i want to pop them on vintage today really ideally i'll link my vintage down below there's still some bits and bobs on there i think actually that's the plan i also really want to get out and go for a walk even if it's just with the dog because i feel like i've just not really moved my body for like three days and it would be good to go out and get some fresh air however it's chucking it down so we'll see Okay, here's a question I have for you because you might be able to help. The other week, I bought this top in Paul and Bear. It's like a really pale blue and it's like an off the shoulder, but it does have sleeves. So like there are armholes, do you know what I mean? However, when I wear it, this bit just rises up because obviously like, to be honest, I'm maybe just a bit too wide for the style of top. I don't really know how to describe what I mean, but like when I do that, this kind of like comes up and just doesn't look how it should look. And I feel like there is some way that I can sew it down somewhere a little bit subtly so that it doesn't like do that. If I insert this photo on screen, can you see what I mean? Any of you that are maybe like seamstresses or know a bit about sewing, I just don't really know where I would, because I can't really sew it to the front because like the fabric would look wrong, do you know what I mean? I didn't try it on and that was my own fault. Can you see the vision? That's the that's how it's meant to look, but how can I get it so that it stays like that? Okay, <laughs> camera just died, but any advice would be welcome. There she is, barking at all the dogs we pass. I mean, that's not her back. That's not her back. <laughs> but I did get out for a dog walk, so that's that is a tick off of the list of uh, things I wanted to achieve today. It's a slider, can you tell? But I have actually also managed to clear quite the collection of things for vintage. Is that dog okay? Some stuff's probably already sold, but I will link my vintage down below. Hair's coming down because that bun was giving me a headache. When I was at school, I used to wear my hair up, like scraped back all the time and not get a headache. And now I wear a ponytail for like half a day and my hair's like, ow, that's really hurting. Anyway, it also really means washing yesterday. I made such a mistake, it wasn't even dirty. And then I coated it in hair spray to wear like ponytail kind of slicked back now it needs washing so that's great i have succeeded i've tidied up i've taken all of my photographs for vintage so i'm about to post them all onto the app now also stop the press how exciting is this bloody camera doesn't focus this is a tweet from jacqueline wilson <sighs> like are you joking some of you might have seen this on my instagram story if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm sure a lot of you do jacqueline wilson the icon herself who wrote all of the classic books that so many of us will have read as a child i suppose announced today that she was writing a sequel to the girls in love series i can't remember what all the books were called i think it was like girls in love girls in tears girls out late can't remember the fourth one anyway these books let me know if you read them as a child or as a teenager as they were they were aimed at teenagers i think i read them when i was about nine though so a little bit ahead of the target demographic anyway i saw on twitter today that she's releasing a sequel and suddenly my nine-year-old heart was like oh my god i didn't know that that was what i was missing in my adult life was a follow-up to those books because honestly i was such an avid reader as a child like wherever i was a book was in my house and more often than not it was a Jacqueline Wilson book like I genuinely think until about 2013 I had read every single one of her books like literally every single one of them um, I think she still writes like churning books out like every single year so since then I've not been keeping up but I saw this tweet and I was like target audience reached I will be buying that <laughs> and I will let you know I don't know when it's coming out maybe I'll google that but yeah right now oh, I'm about to list my clothes on vintage and I really want to go wash my face take my makeup off and then I'm gonna go around to Tom's and spend the evening there Good morning. It is now Friday and why do I always start the vlog in the car when there's people opposite me? Truly a good question. Anyway, it is the end of the week, but I feel as though I'm actually probably the most excited because I've already been productive today. It is 10.45. I got up fairly early, not really early to be honest. Went straight to get my nails changed because I had had the same pink nails for a month. I'm actually really impressed that they lasted for a month and none of them had chipped or anything. I get SNF, so I don't ever get gels or acrylic um, and I think that's why they last so much longer, but yeah, I got this kind of like greeny turquoisey they look really blue on camera in real life they look a bit more green anyway then i've just popped to cafe nero of course then all week i've been trying to eat healthy and it's not going very well i'll be honest walked past Cooplands, which if you're not from east yorkshire or north yorkshire or yorkshire in general maybe no i think it's an east yorkshire thing Cooplands is a bakery so i thought okay i'll buy some 
baked goods for my family. Look at this. Look at this custard tart. I'm sorry. This is obviously for like us to share. I'm not going to eat this myself. It's like the size of my head. Me, my mum and my dad all really like these. And I thought I'll just buy one big one and then we can just share it. And I feel like I'm being a good daughter. Taking home baked goods with fresh nails and it's 10.30 in the morning. So all things considered, a solid start to the day. It's going to be a very errandsy kind of Friday. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to bring you along with me. I'm going to go into Hull. Got some errands to run. I need to take in some electronics into CEX to sell. I'm going to go get my eyebrows done. Basically, it's just like one of those days where I'm trying to tie everything into one afternoon. So like my nails, my eyebrows, going to CEX. Oh, I need to buy all my parcel packaging stuff for Vinted to post them on. One of those kind of days. It's one of those kind of days. I think we're going to go into St. Stephen's in Hull, which is the shopping centre. Go to the big Tesco. Go to the big boots. Isn't it funny how we say like big Tesco? Or I do anyway. But it really is a big Tesco in Hull. And it also really is a big boot. So that the statement stands. Right now I'm going to go home. But good morning. It's Friday and I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay, I'm in Tesco now in Hull. And they have some such cute homeware. Look at this set here. So like a little lilac checked set. And then this one might be my actual favourite mug I've ever seen. But do I need another mug? Potentially not. Here we have mum. We really need a basket. We really do need a basket. I don't know why we didn't pick a basket up. Which bath mat would you choose? Which bath mat would I choose for my bathroom? I do like that teal one. That one? I just don't really like bath mats. I don't either. Well, I don't use that bathroom. But I feel you do need one because otherwise it gets wet everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah, probably the teal one. Or maybe that one. The like stripy, bluey and white one. That one? Yeah. Anyway, we really basically should have got a basket. I've got no spare hands to keep vlogging with, guys. Well, I have secured the goods for the vintage items. We've got packaging. We've got the birthday cards that we needed. We're on a roll. We've only been here about 10 minutes. Buying a bath mat. Okay, the eyebrows are done. Uh, my face is gonna be a little bit red because you know how it goes after you've got your eyebrows done. I always get such red bits of skin here. But we have come for lunch at 42nd East Bakehouse, which there is one in Beverly. I didn't know there was one in Hull. I've not been into St. Stephen's since before I went traveling. I know I say that in every vlog and I say that all the time in real life as well, I feel. But I really just feel as though, especially here, I've not been in such a long time that it is quite different. And this wasn't here, but it's a really nice cafe. It's basically like a bakery. I've got little seats outside. Mum is over there ordering our bake goods and coffee and then yeah it's just a really cute interior like i think there's one in york i think there's one in harrogate they look insane mine looks really anticlimactic now <laughs> i've got just like a sandwich and mum's got a full-on stack of pancakes we are back home it took a little while we drove like a really strange way home doing a lot of road works around here at the moment you don't care about that though anyway we are back home i am gonna crack on with doing some work now because all of the errands i've run this morning have been like bitty and out of the house got my eyebrows done got my nails done here's my mum now i'm gonna crack down and sit down and actually edit this vlog because obviously this video goes up every saturday morning and i get in a really bad habit of uploading it on the saturday morning like waking up dead early on a saturday to do it which is fine and that's kind of you know part and part parcel of being self-employed, working really random hours. I'll work like four hours on a Saturday morning, but then for example, Friday morning, four hours, I've not really done any work. Things and roundabouts, but I don't love that habit because I could do it on a Friday and I just don't. So I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna have it uploaded, scheduled, ready to go before I go to bed. That's my mission. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, yeah, got fresh eyebrows, really, really happy with them. And if it always do such a tidy, neat job. Look who I found. I feel like the last person in the vlog was my mum and my mum has been swapped out for Thomas, who I've just picked up from work. It is 5.30 on a Friday. Well, I didn't pick it up from work. I picked it up from the train. I picked it up from the train station, but yes. I had a big box to he bring home. So Why did that just me remind me it. of that Harry Potter thing? Big box for Ron. You'll have, to read, you'll have to insert. I don't know if the people know what that is. Oh, you just got to insert the clip then. Okay. And then people will no, know. You have to send me the clip. Yeah, I'll find it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I went to pick him up from the station, so I didn't have to carry that to be home. And I'm going to pop back around later and see you tonight. Like I was literally just saying in the last clip, Friday night is like one of my busiest work. Nice. You also have an exciting Friday night. What's happening for you tonight? Dude, my, my TB studio rebrand will have launched actually by the time this video goes up. Yeah, I'm rebranding everything. New logo, new colours, like a bit of a sleeker, more modern look. If you didn't know, Tom is a graphic designer and also has like a freelance website and a portfolio and all of that kind of stuff that you've had. And a shop, yeah, a shop as well. That's always linked to my videos. Which there will be some new products coming soon as well. Which Just is had exciting. a bit of a revamp. It does, it looks really good. This has been a long time coming. It has. I've been doing doing this, this Christmas. Yeah, I've had this logo sort of in the background for a while, but I'm so indecisive. But anyway, I think it's ready. We'll see what the reaction is. I'm excited to see it go live. If you do want to check it out, if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'll link it down below as always. Right now, I'm going to love you and leave you. Go have and have some food. I am starving. Oh, yeah. What are you having for tea? I actually don't know what I'm having for tea. I think wrapped. Sounds good. What are you having? No idea. It's just me and my dad. Could be a takeaway night. It is a Friday. Sometimes it is Friday night takeaway. I'm going to have a takeaway tomorrow, bro. Oh, 
god. That shelf is on the wall at such an angle. It's a miracle things actually don't slide off that. You join me in my office. I have shared a to-do list on my Instagram story today. Um, kind of to motivate me into actually getting stuff done and kind of to just show you guys on Instagram a little day in the life of like running some errands. However, the very bottom thing on that list is wash your hair and I mentioned it yesterday and I still haven't done it. Does anybody else just hate the task of hair washing? Is that disgusting to say? That's better lighting. That's better. What would be even better if we just plugged this in? There we go. That's better. You guys saw that I was in Hull earlier on and I was actually in TK Maxx and I did make some purchases. So I thought I'd do a little haul. I only bought two things and I really could have gone to town because they have so many like last season Zara and Bershka and Pull and Bear in TK Maxx, which is quite a win because in Hull, we do not have Pull and Bear, Bershka or Zara. So like, anyway, I'm actually gonna try them on because I bought these with like the summer in mind. I've got a few trips planned, a few holidays booked. I'm very, very excited. I feel very grateful, very lucky that my summer plans are sort of taking shape. Anyway, I thought because of that, we would do a little try on haul. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> so the vision is like Greek summer. The reason I was drawn to this well, two reasons. One, it was $3.99. And two, it's just got this really gorgeous hem. Like, I think that this is just very, like, Greek summer holiday vibes. Very backpacker friendly as well, because it's super light, super airy. From Zara originally, um, but TK Maxx. I imagine this is from their summer collection last year. Yeah, I really like this. I also think for $3.99, like, what a steal. I just think they're so easy to wear. I love anything that you can just throw on. Second item, I really hope this fits. I've bought this in an extra small. Nothing about me really is extra small. I'm I'm a tall girl, usually with buy a size 10. This is very optimistic, but it's very elasticated, very floaty. So I'm kind of hoping it's one of those things where it's not really like super important how big it is. We'll see. Let's try this on. Wait, but I'm kind of obsessed with it, but I do think it is a bit small and not even in the way I thought it would be. I think maybe I could get away with it though. It's not too short. Let me show you. Right, so this is the length. Cute. Cute. I actually think it's just a bit too small like, across my chest. I don't know. I feel like maybe you could get away with this. Well, anyway, the reason I was drawn to this is how cute is the embroidery? Like, this is just the most adorable fabric pattern I've maybe ever seen. In my head, I was kind of thinking of the Bali trip. Oh my God, I'm so pale. Just imagine it with a tan. Imagine both of these with a really nice sun-kissed glowy tan. Not a pale, I've been in English winter vibe, okay? <laughs> But yeah, this is this was item two. I'm a bit sad that it is a bit small. All right, update. I think I've come up with a solution to this. Before, before I tried it on, I thought the straps looked quite long. Incorrect. The straps are actually too short. That is the issue because it fits everywhere else. If anything, it's actually quite wide. Like it's very elasticated. Moral of this story is buy clothes in your size. I reckon if I cut these straps here and just lengthen them with like this kind of material from like a, what are they called? Haberdashery. There's no reason why it wouldn't fit. And I do have a textiles GCSE, everybody. <laughs> and my mum is also quite a handy sewer. So I reckon actually that's just a little adjustment on the straps and then it's actually gonna be fine. There you go, there's my haul. This one fits perfectly, 3 99 This one needs a little bit of adjustment, but it was only like, I think it was seven pounds. Can't complain. I'm actually gonna end this vlog here. I look very naked. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm sorry it hasn't been super, super long. Obviously, as I mentioned, I did spend the first half of the week editing my Taylor Swift video and just didn't have a great deal to film. I do think that the next two, maybe three videos on my channel will be a bit more going on in terms of a vlog and the things that I'm doing. I'm going on holiday next week with Tom. Mentioned that last week, mentioned that just now. Um, I'm gonna film that, of course. So yeah, some exciting stuff coming up. I'm excited. The last couple of weeks of March have been fairly quiet. I guess that is just the ebbs and flows of life. I hope you guys understand. Thank you so much for watching if you have got to the end. If you're not following me on my other social media, my Instagram and TikTok are always linked down below, as is Tom updated website as is the barley trip as well if you do want to join that anyway other than that i'm gonna go and i shall see you guys on my channel on tuesday bye